Hmm. Yes. It's beautiful from up here. Are we starting the interview now? Alright. Why, hello there. So, you want to ask me about how my rise to power came about? Well, it all started back in Bryce Beach. I had it all. I had a beautiful house on the waterfront. As peaceful as could be. Away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Had beautiful fields filled with crops. Plenty plentiful, some would say. All the food I could eat, whatever I wanted to grow. I had so much that I decided to start shipping it back to the towns and cities that I had passed. But the ships stopped coming. So I decided if they wouldn't come to me, I would come to them. Well, there's where I left the camera. All right. Right. Let's get started. So today, I'm building the first major piece of the railroad. Just grab all my tools. Oh, because I don't have arrows. Isn't that weird? Cute. So, workman's clothes. All the other materials have already been shipped over there. Whatever we need our tape measure. Let's go. Past all the ostriches. Onwards. Right, these these sidings are a bit buggy and I don't really know why, but I think it has something to do with the stairs. Just pump it up and down. Till we get out of here. At least up the first slope. Right, so we're going to our first major build, which is the bridge across a potential canal. Uh, let's just bring up this little infographic here. Uh, currently, it does not go through, but at some point, the ships will want to run through here. Oh, there's our ostrich! <laughs> We ran over an ostrich. At some point, ships will want to go through there. And it shouldn't be that hard to clear out that land and make a, make a hole. So we're going to need... We can't just put, like, a trestle. We need to put... Uh, there needs to be some sort of clearance for... Decent-sized ships. At least for now. We might have to redesign it later. But I don't see any large ships coming through here in the near future. So we just need that to be an option. You know, you gotta protect future ability. Future ability. I don't know. Right, so we're coming. We're at the Y. So yeah. So I've looked at very many well, actually a couple designs. I decided that 
Since this is still the Bryce Beach Excursion Railway, we'll keep it acacia wood and some clay. I'm going to use clay as foundation, probably. And acacia wood logs. That's the main sort of bridge. The deck, that's what it is, the deck. There's a small trestle before it that I can show you, which it's going to be very similar to. Now we're coming up to such so far on the railway the biggest cut made so far. Some gravel. You may notice the design on the side, it's clay. I make the top look like it's been blackened by smoke. And then with the Brace Beach Railway colors of gray and orange. I will use light gray on the clay because the clay is fairly dark. And the gray clay is very dark. Right, we're almost there. Lots of ostriches. Oh, there's the back of the supply train. Right, I think we'll leave her here. Leave the handcart here. Here. Let's see if we can s slip down and see this trestle. Oh yeah. I had put some fence posts up when I brought the supply train down, but I realized it couldn't get past. Let's use the trestle. We got nice cases supports bridge because this is a bit wide. Put a little flange type deal there. Our crossbars. All kinds of good stuff. Where the track ends. There's good old engine two. Right, so let's hang up our two until we need them. Attention. There we go. Have our cooking done there. So let's see. This is the site. This is the approach site. There's the end. The landing. Put this tape measure here. That's exactly what kind of distance we're dealing with. Let's bring my medic. My pick. In case there's sharks. I didn't bring the sword, did I? Wow. Go me. So we want to measure from the clay. Let's keep our trusty matic out. In case we gotta smack something. Straight across seventy meters. We got 
70 meters to cover. Come on, fish. Look, the fish swim away when you get close. Seven meters to cover. There's plenty of materials. I've already unloaded some. We got carpenter's blocks, some wood, more wood, clay, some of this junk. Right. More stuff in the boxcar, in the good spin. So, I'm gonna put it in the fancy camera. Get started. Right, so time to get started. First, I tried using a boat, going back and forth, get some measurements, get some initial materials, and started with the, the lead off. For the deck. I fell on my boat there and it broke. So that was fun. Just the end of the boat. Right now, I'm making the foundations for the clay. I decided to have the bridge pylons come completely out of the water before switching to wood. Just to look like nice abutments. I decided to use uh, blue cray, cray, clay, blue clay for up to the water level. And then I decided between white and gray I mean orange and gray eventually went with orange just seemed to fit for the area I then started to make the rest of the lead off deck this bridge is a bit wider than the other bridges because it's quite a major bridge heading over to the other side I just I repeat the process about somewhere here had a recording problem as you saw <laughs> just dive into the water and my recording restarted I'm actually over there at the end you can see the blocks coming into place there I am repeating the process two more pilings come up I realized that I built it wrong slightly off so I start moving it over. It's not fun. That diving was not fun. Not fun at all. Should have brought some potions. It was very dark down there. You try placing blue blocks in the blue ocean. Especially with this shader pack. It makes it really difficult. But oh, it was fun. So now I start with the next segment. I forget how much spacing I put between. I believe I put 10 spacing, 10 meters between each in this section. I went back for more supplies, I believe, and, and some food. And I put 10 meters out on this one. Supply run. Oh no, I went to grab tape measure. Measure to distance. Try and keep a good gauge on how much I have left. Put the the middle support abutments. A little storm rolled in right there. I didn't really notice it because I was underwater. This one I also built slightly off. See me zipping around at the bottom there. It's really bright. Didn't notice that. Build a 
wrong. Correcting. Build those supports up. And now repeat for the other side. This one I believe I got correct actually. is brought to us by Chris Zabriski of Free Music Archive. It makes great stuff, great stuff, free to use, unless I read it wrong. In that case, I'll get a copyright on this video, but I don't mind. I believe there I'm measuring the another, how much gap is left, and also, just out of curiosity, how much the height is. Now for this, uh, because I didn't want to build another support, I want to have a nice open area for boats. So I'd put, it's not, it's not really an arch, just sort of a diagonal strut for this larger space. I then uh, uh, popped into creative mode to do the other ones because it was really annoying. And especially to get the logs on there the right way on the carpenter blocks. But I did the first one in survival, so it's good enough. Proof of concept. Now I decided to finally build a temporary bridge across. So I don't have to swim all the way back, but of course I fell off. Go, go me. And there we go. The deck is joined. Uh, now I believe I popped out of creative mode as soon as I've done that, but I believe now I may be back in... Where'd I go? Oh yeah, I'm widening the supports for the arches, make them the bottoms too wide. Give them a nice beefy appearance. However, after that, I have trouble getting back on the abutment because of my recording restrictions. I gotta get, I'm working on getting a second computer for recording, but oh well. Besides the point. Now I put the nice flange. Not really a flange, just sort of an angled thing on the side. Give it a wider appearance. And slowly filling in the carpenter's blocks with more logs. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, this time it's just like I know that's gonna be a pain in the arse. So I'm putting all those little fence carpenters, barrier fence things in, and then I fill, put the uh, acacia wood, you know, in creative mode. Still have plenty left. didn't feel like this this video is already boring enough without seeing me building scaffolding. Building scaffolding over water is really annoying. Especially while I was recording because the water wasn't flowing. So it ended up with a bunch of holes. It's not not very fun. Now I put some lanterns up while I'm still in creative. Because I forgot to do that before I put the flanges on. Now I'm back in survival. Oh yes, I'm starting the approach slope. Now in about 30 seconds or so, I crashed the game quite horribly. Because I'm trying to put a slope track in. And it, it, it doesn't like it. Rails of War is still a work in progress mod, but... Oh, yeah. And here it comes. And there it went. Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, 
while building the bridge, I had a crash with invisible tracks for engine one. So I had to uninstall Rails of War and then reinstall it to delete the track. It was an invisible track after placing a slope. So yeah. So unfortunately we lost engine two and the box car. But that's no biggie. See guys, it's a creative only mod anyway, and it's an alpha. And plus I need to replace the tracks there anyway. They're gonna get broken anyway in the update. It's no big deal. So now we just need to get back to the site. Pour a pointer here. There we go. Right. Oh yeah, here we are. So this was the slope I was trying to place. Here's the bridge. lamps on it right Let's just go to the aerial view and we'll call it there Right, here's a map of the known map world. That black smudge is Bryce Beach, that yellow smudge is Acacia City. And that's where we are. 
Red Canal Bridge. Thank you for watching. I'll see you. Stay tuned for more updates on the road to Acacia City.